Did I see kids playing in the water too? Yeah, it looked like some splashing <laughs> in the background. The sun was out, what cherry trees cool. blooming. What a day. Yeah. Everything was going on today, but we're not going to have it for that much longer, right? No. Well, th this was a, a very unusual month. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people thinking, like, well, this means that summer's right around the corner, right? right? Yeah. Wrong. Okay. Wrong. We still have. <laughs> we're getting uh, too excited. We have to wait until, what is it? July the 5th, that's when summer actually begins. Oh, yeah, we have July. a lot of time. We've got a long way to go. we got a lot of time to go. And it was kind of a crazy month. It was really the tale of two months. The first half, remember it snowed earlier this month. We had about, uh, I think it was something like 40 days in a row below average temperatures. That ended on the 13th of the month. And then for the rest of the month, from the 14th on through today, we've seen temperatures, at least high temperatures out at SeaTac, warmer than average. That's 18 days in a row. And, of course, we all remember that temperatures when we struck near 80 degrees on the 19th and 20th. We have nothing like that in the forecast. In fact, temperatures are gradually going to be cooling as we enter the first few days of April. Not to mention it was a dry month as well. It only rained or snowed, I should say, eight times during the entire month. We only picked up 1.37 inches through the entire month. That was way below normal. In fact, it was the second driest March on record. Now we are going to change things around a little bit. We have numerous chances for rain in the forecast beginning as early as tomorrow for some of us, but most of us are likely going to be dry the first couple of days of the work week. Uh, this is a live look at our radar satellite composite. Did see a couple of stray showers out over the mountains. Those have all but dissipated. Light rain showers starting to move into southwestern Oregon. Here's our next weather system. The bulk of this energy is going to be missing us to our south. Oregon and the Willamette Valley will likely get hit with the wettest conditions. We're probably going to see whatever's left and probably not until Tuesday night into Wednesday, but it's the first of numerous weather systems that are forecast to move through western Washington over the next week or so. This is system number one. Here's a more organized system that's set to move in later in the week, say Thursday and Friday. So we have uh, certainly some wetter conditions that are in the forecast right now. Well, it's pretty comfortable outside. We're looking at a mostly clear night. Temperature right now is 56 degrees. Overnight lows, or I should say temperatures as we wake up tomorrow morning, look like this. A lot of us will still be in the 40s. Some upper 30s over the south sound. You can see Arlington about 38 degrees for your overnight low, but it looks like temperatures will be at least on the milder side. Now let's time out the rain. Again, mostly dry through Monday. We will see a lot of those mid and high level clouds because of that weather system that will be slipping to our south. On Tuesday, parts of the southwest interior, especially the southwestern corner of the state, that's where we're expecting the rain showers to be. Thinking most of Puget Sound, especially if you live up closer to the international border, is going to be dry on Tuesday. But once we head into Wednesday, that's when things turn wet. In fact, wet and breezy Wednesday, and that'll lead to those weather systems that'll be moving through uh, in numerous numbers later in the week. So here's your forecast. 64 degrees for a high tomorrow. That's actually not that bad. That's still about 10 degrees warmer Jeez. than average. And then cooling off a little bit. 57 by Wednesday. That will feel cool considering where we've been. We see a bit of a lull on Thursday and then a couple of weather systems Friday and Saturday will keep us on the wet and breezy side through the remainder of next weekend.